Welcome back to the garage. What I got going on today is something that I didn't realize I was going to find so soon. But let's cut this box open. The box is from La Pine, Oregon. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. This is something that I ran across, I didn't even know they really made. I ran across this within five minutes of somebody putting it on eBay. I lucked out, because these are evidently super hard to find. Open this up and we'll get into it from there. What I have here is a Proto Light three quarter inch drive ratchet. It's a Proto 5650. Made in the 60s. Evidently still works. It's missing a screw up here at the top. But that is an absolute beast right there. Alright, now that's a major success because there's nothing damaged inside of this, just missing a screw. I'm not sure if maybe somebody took one out for something else or got loose and fought, fell out over time. You can see the gear has no teeth missing on it. These ratchets are pretty simple to take apart and clean up, swap parts around. Just two springs, two little paws, and the gear.
show you that this ratchet is aluminum, but you can see this ring right here is put in here for the steel. This is a steel ring because naturally if this steel part was riding in that aluminum housing, that would totally wear it out in a matter of no time. But I meant to cover that after I took this ratchet apart earlier, but I didn't get around to it. But let me get to putting this thing back together. That finish turned out really good. There's some streaks in it from my hand prints and a little bit of that buffing compound left on there. But I'm, I'm very impressed with how it turned out. The trick I've learned with some of these old tools is to clean them up nice and make them yours, but to leave a few of the scratches and dings to remind you of what it was. This ratchet turned out very nice if I do say so myself. Hopefully that GoPro can pick up how nice this thing shines. I probably could have spent a little bit more time, got out some of the bigger dings and scratches in this thing, but they're definitely battle scars. I mean, this thing's had a life before I've owned it. You're looking at a ratchet that's over 50 years old, so. Thank you very much for watching the video. Leave a comment down below. Consider subscribing if this is the kind of content that you're into. And just a friendly reminder that it doesn't matter if you're working on your project in a garage or in your driveway. What matters is that you do the job yourself and you learn more about your project, whatever that project may be. My name is Zane, and I'll catch you next time.